Scattered across western and northern portions of Pennsylvania are thousands of drilling sites tapping into Marcellus shale formations. So we have the green dots here. Those are all of the locations of the wells. Those wells, according to the state's Department of Environmental Protection, inject up to 20 million gallons of fluid to fracture the rock and release the natural gas. That fluid, which is mostly water, is typically considered a waste product. But that could be a thing of the past. Yeah, I mean, it, we were, research we were. scientist Justin Mackey believes what's in that water could be a game changer. We just needed to be able to put the pieces together to to understand what it meant, to understand the impact. Mackey works for the National Energy Technology Laboratory outside of Pittsburgh. It's an arm of the U.S. Department of Energy with the mission of helping the U.S. gain energy independence. Since water used in drilling picks up critical minerals and elements from the shale, Mackey took a closer look at the wastewater samples collected by the DEP. We were astonished at um, the amount of lithium that we found. According to his analysis, the wastewater from wells in Pennsylvania alone would supply up to 40 percent of the U.S. need. Lithium is used in everything from electric cars to smartphones. Every gadget that we have that has a battery in it is probably going to be a lithium ion battery. Tom Tanka is a senior fellow with the lab. He predicts lithium demand will go up by 10 times in the near future. And since the U.S. primarily imports the mineral, finding a source here is extremely important. Plus, since the wastewater is already available, he believes it's also better for the environment. We need to really dig in more and figure out more about the resource, better understand just how much is there, to what extent, and, and really look at the chemistry and how can we extract it out. The waste is already there, so we're just going to benefit from the waste as it exists. There is more work to be done. The National Energy Technology Lab is looking at nearby states like West Virginia and New York that also drill. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Turns yeah. out one well's waste could end up being the nation's treasure. Ann Shannon, WGAL News 8.